Yeah, hi friends, Doc South here. Have th this is interesting. I, I guess being as it's this is my birthday week, so to speak, and actually it's my brother, uh, brother Ed's uh, birthday week too. Um, it's you, you, I get to thinking of the of uh, some of the cool things that happened to me in my childhood, and <clears throat> one thing that I remember would happen to me as a kid. And yet, not to this point, at least to this point in my life, has has never happened outside of uh, childhood. Not teenage, young adult, and now geezer geezerdom uh, that I'm in. Um, this has never uh, never happened uh, since uh, I, since maybe I was uh, three or four years old, and it was a, it was a dream, and it used to come to me fairly regularly. Too, as I recall, as I recall, what would happen? I'd be uh, in my crib. <clears throat> okay, I'd be uh, sleeping in my crib, or well, lying awake in my crib, <clears throat> and and this was not a nightmare. No, not at all. If anything, it was kind of cool. But what would happen is there. The room would be dark. My parents, you know, would leave the door slightly ajar for the, in, and then they'd go to bed in their, you know, in their bedroom. Um, and, but what would happen is all of a sudden I would see letters appear, all different kinds of shapes and sizes of letters, and they would be in rows. They would be in rows. Now, I don't know if I've ever told this before. I, mean, I, I have a feeling I may have, but it got to be maybe a couple years ago and you'll never find it on the web again or you know in my face uh, well my youtube site yeah you would if you feel like searching forever but these letters would go by right above my crib and then and they'd come out of the wall this is the weird thing they <laughs> yeah they'd come out of the wall they'd be well lit almost glowing and they would they'd go by me some some would come out of the ceiling and be going down. Some would crisscross. They would, yeah, they would, and and the wall was nothing to them. The wall was say the wall was like air as far as they were concerned. Yeah, an air curtain, and the the letters would hover above me, and I could, I could move them, adjust them as I saw fit, and they just keep right on moving. And like I said, sometimes there'd be, uh, oh, a hundred of them in the room floating around. And I'd just be out looking, just having a time. And I'd, I, I had to be awake because I'd make such racket looking at them and talking to them that uh, the folks would come in and say, hey, what's, what's going on? Hey, you got to go to sleep. Yes, yes. I, I said, letters. They said, uh-huh. Yeah, letters, huh? I don't see any letters. <laughs> Meanwhile, the letters are there, you know. <laughs> going. I said, but I see letters. Uh, you you drank too much cocoa for bre uh, for uh, for uh, dessert or you know whatever. Yeah, too much ice cream. Mariani had too much ice cream again. We've got a you know all the you know stuff like that. And I'd be uh, just scratching my head at these beautiful letters and they'd be all different sizes and shapes i think some of them maybe even had legs and they were like walking and arms yeah i think i might be thinking of a commercial at that point but the the letters again like i said a good hundred of them in the room floating around has anyone else had that dream i'd love to know i'd really love to know it was <clears throat> It was about as cool as could be. And no, it wasn't the least bit frightening. In fact, I'd like to see it still. I've, I've seen other dreams. Uh, I've had other dreams or uh, sightings at night that, frankly, might give you chills. But this was, um, this was pretty cool. This was pretty cool. Again, it doesn't happen that much now that I'm older. And I have no idea what the letters spelled. I have absolutely no idea. I guess I'd have to be so hypnotized, I guess, <clears throat> to uh, even recall them. It would be interesting to know what they said, if it could be done. Oh, my God, that would be interesting. 
God. Any, well, anyway, enough said. I, your input would be interest uh, would be of interest to me. Have you ever had some, as a child, some, some kind of like visionary dreams? Again, where you know you weren't asleep, but you were seeing stuff. Yeah. Okay. And again, these usually aren't scary things. Now there was nothing to be afraid about. No, none of these letters hurt me that I know of. Yeah, but it was they were just there, dancing around the room. And like I said, I think some of them had arms and some of them had legs, and they just diddy bop across. Yeah, just shaking a leg. Some did not. Some did not. I know, I know. <laughs> Darn right I said my prayers when I saw something like that. Our Father who art in heaven. Actually, what did I say? Let's see. Now I lay me down to sleep. Yeah, that one. Uh, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the, the glory forever. So be it. Okay. Again, I had, that would have been something like 72 years ago that this, this occurred. I've not seen it. To my knowledge, I've not seen it since. I've seen some pretty weird dreams, been through them, and uh, woo hoo But um, there you go. Okay, see you later. God bless. Bye now.